And we are underway in Buffalo. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Jackson looking to throw right away. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Now Lamar changing the look. From midfield now, here's Jackson. Pass the 20. Touchdown. Zay Flowers, 50 yards. And the Ravens have taken the early lead on the road here in Buffalo. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two... End zone. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. Tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They're in control. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen, blitz coming, and down he goes. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Allen now looks to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And this drive is almost over before it began, thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Now it's Allen. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice or maybe even routes versus air because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Not the warmest starts throwing the football. He was one for three, now one for four on the opening drive. So getting him comfortable is the key. And for him, it might be different than what we think is comfortable. We're probably thinking... Then he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Oh, big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. And he's brought down. Can't do it. With a football, it's a sack and a turnover on downs. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And boy, possession here turns over with a football already being in the red zone. They go play action with Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. 
And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Zay Flowers. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. One of the tight ends comes in motion. And he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches. And the two-point attempt is turned aside. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. Now Allen. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And some room to run now. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's Allen. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Second and 10. And again, it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. To throw, it's Allen. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Throwing now is Allen. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Here's Allen to throw it. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. It's a 15-yard pickup. But it'll lead to a fourth down. But don't tell any defensive coordinator I've played for, but that might be considered a win for both teams because defensively they stopped them short and forced the fourth down. But offensively, they picked up enough yards to give their kicker a better shot if that's what they want to do. So on fourth down, off goes Allen. On comes Tyler Bass for the Buffalo field goal. From the right hash, this from 48. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A great play there. 57 yards. And the Ravens take the block field goal and convert it into six points. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Well, not content with the first quarter lead, I guess. They're going to go onside kick. Now a timeout called for by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And that one bounces out of the back of the end zone, so we'll start the drive at the 25 on the touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, that field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's Allen. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. On 
on third and long. It's Allen. And Diggs has it. And he's going to be brought down. Down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens are able to add on to their first half lead. Jackson here, he's going to look to throw. And this is going to be caught. It's good. And that extends their lead by two more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Yeah, yeah, we dominate today. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try and pick themselves back up. Oh, and that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Allen going to throw. That is caught, and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Allen to throw once more. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. Back to the air on second down. It's Allen. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. When you're in man coverage, you have help over the top. You become a much more confident defender. Trail the receiver and know that someone over the top can make a play. And that's exactly what happened here. The free safety coming up with the interception. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw is Jackson. And that is caught at the 10-yard line. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay. 44 yards and the Ravens have taken a five touchdown lead and unable to connect they don't get the two-point conversion here as we prepare for these games we've noticed offensive coordinators have had an expanded playbook on two-point conversion tries because they never know when they may have to use it during a game but that also means the defense probably has more for these situations too right oh, no doubt about it. i think for the most part defenses will be aggressive on two-point tries they want to get after the offense and make them force the issue and here the defense wins buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive and we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular. If they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ballgame. 
Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. Allen from the gun on third down. The tally there, minus eight yards. Leads to fourth down as well. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense stays put. They failed twice already in this first half, but they're going to go a third time here on fourth down. They do go for it. Here's Allen. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. An absolutely dominating series from that pass rush to record the safety. Three sacks in a row shouldn't be possible against an NFL offensive line. But there they are, dropping him on three straight reps, the last of which came in the end zone for two points. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, everything right now that they touch on this side of the football, it seems to turn to gold. They've scored on three straight possessions. That lead continues to grow. And, I mean, if they can get points here, Charles, it might almost be an insurmountable comeback for the other side. I think you make a great case for that. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. Could they make the big comeback? Certainly. Am I expecting it? Not at all. I think if we don't see a drastic change in how they're playing, this blowout's going to get bigger and bigger before. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. A big play there. 59 yards. And the Ravens have taken a six touchdown lead. Steps away to his left. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. The fades are tough because you need a perfectly placed pass. They got one there. That they did. Now, I used to have a former partner I worked with who hated the fade pass. Where do you stand on it? I do not like it because you, you're going into a corner. You don't have any room. What do you think? You're the analyst. I love it when they complete it. Then it's a heck oh, of a well, call. Yeah, well, that's, that's not very gutsy. Yeah, it really isn't. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Armour Davis. An unfortunate sequence there. Trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it, and that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. Got a man. It's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Ravens will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. They'll look to throw. And they are just not going to let up as he is into the end zone here for two more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, things for them, just to put it bluntly, man, it has been tough sledding here in the first half, facing that big deficit. The clock is dwindling now. Maybe if they can get something on the board here before intermission, they'll have at least a little momentum heading into the second half. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Well, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. 
Now Allen. Got a man. That's Trent Sherfield. Now inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there just before halftime. And even 50 yards. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Bills get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Oh, this is blocked. And now the Ravens get it. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. And he takes it all the way back. And this crowd can't believe what they're seeing. Things go wrong even after a touchdown in this one. That is a play that you just do not see very often. Maybe a couple times a year, the blocked extra point return for two. You can't afford to give anyone a free run at the kicker. Oftentimes, it's going to bounce off his hands or chest and head the other direction. So illegal touching, Charles. If you set foot out of bounds as a receiver, you can't be the first to touch it. You nailed it on that one. You've got to be mindful of the sideline. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Oh, they'll let Andrews try to run. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Mark Andrews on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. They'll try and throw for it. And the Ravens have got it on cruise control. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And yeah, the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Allen again here on second and ten. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Snap comes in one, and it's Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with ten seconds to go before halftime. Allen now on first down. Buying time to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. Now a hit and a loose football. And there he goes right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. 
So they get the one score, kick off, get a fumble, take it right back to the house. <laughs> Two quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now, a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles, but I, I don't know. Do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But, Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. His throw incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver, and it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. To the air, Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. A big play here for Buffalo. And even 40 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Allen left side caught by Diggs and he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25 yard line so the completion good for six yards and it'll be second down but it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing and they got it done now Allen again. He'll find Diggs once more on the completion. And able to get this down inside the 15, either the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome, but completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. Now Allen throwing on second down, being chased out left. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. A long way to go here on third down for the eighth play of the drive. Back to throw. Allen under a heavy rush and down he goes. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. Hello. 
Looking to throw. Allen. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. Now Jackson on first down. Oh, looking for Andrews downfield. And that's caught at the 25. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Mark Andrews. 68 yards and the Ravens are pouring it on now it's Jackson and no it falls incomplete so the two point conversion no good I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit but going for two in this situation Somebody doesn't like someone else. There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No. No, okay. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. And every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball. And it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. Throwing his Allen on third. Forced out to his left. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 46. Back to throw. Allen setting up the screen for Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. On first down, Allen. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out and as confidently as they've been playing. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Rasul Douglas picks it. time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL and it's on EA Sports. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And you can sort of sense their dejection. That last pick six put the icing on the cake, so to speak, in what has been a rough... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. Well, what has been a fantastic game for this defense has been rough for this offense. And certainly a signal caller, Charles, it's thrown all these interceptions another one there and this one taken all the way back for the score partner hoping they're holding a nice little spot in the post game highlights to show this rip of interceptions and great plays this group has made they've been on it from snap one after the interception here's jackson and this one incomplete 
So they went for the two. They don't get it. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it. Go for two. And they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. So where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much. Allen hit. He lost the football. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you've got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Here's Allen on first and ten. An unlucky number here, a loss of 13 on the play. And it'll make this a second and long. Allen now looks to throw. Shakir holds it in. A good pickup there, 18 yards as they get closer for third down. The Bills on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and four. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jackson. Oh, it's deep for Duvernay. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Devin Duvernay. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Now Jackson. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. Oh, this is a touch cruel here. They've got the big lead. Now they're going for the jugular with the onside kick. And the Bills are going to recover. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now a second and 10. Looking to throw. Allen. That's complete to Davis. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Now Allen. And this is incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Allen looks to throw on second down. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. Another great play defensively. They've been sharp on both sides of the ball, Charles, but that interception means that this defense very well keep them down to single digits on the scoreboard in this game. And that's certainly something to smile about, isn't it, partner, if you're on defense? Because your goal every game is to pitch a shutout, but you and I both know that's pretty unrealistic. But to hold a team below double figures in a game, in an NFL game, that's certainly something to take pride in. Jackson going to change things up a bit. Jackson now. From the gun, he'll throw. And this will be caught. And the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. 
Oh, when coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL you end up with matchups like we've been watching here. And when you go back through the early drives, you can just see that one squad was on a different level in this game. Safe to say, we haven't been disappointed in watching their execution throughout this contest. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And he doesn't even get this to the 10. He's taken down at the 9. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. A well-designed corner blitz that gets him for a loss of eight yards. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. In his own end zone, it's Allen. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, they don't really need the points here, Charles, given what we're looking at on the scoreboard, but they've scored on three consecutive possessions, three consecutive drives, and I'm sure that they would like to keep that streak going here and continuing to pour it on. And things have gotten that way in the NFL, haven't they, partner? Because in the old days, people would, you know, they'd get off the gas a little bit, right? But now... People continue to accelerate, but we'll see what they decide to do as they come out for this one. But the way that this game has gone, they've got to be awfully happy with their execution overall. Now a throw here to his running back. He'll get it inside the 20. And down to the seven-yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. CD, it'll go into the books as just one win, but this is a really impressive win. They've done it on defense, and here they continue to do it on offense. Another score in the fourth quarter to widen that advantage. I like where you were going with that one. Would you say, partner, it was really three victories today? Landslide on the scoreboard, emphatic victory on either side of the ball. They really got it done. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing, CD. But unfortunately, the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first. Yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Roquan Smith, my goodness, make that now five sacks for him in this ball game. Really, really turning in an incredible performance. From his end zone on third and long, Allen. Oh, had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. That incompletion brings us one snap closer to the end of this one. Maybe mercifully, partner. And let's face it, though, no surprise, they're still flinging it around. They have pride, too. One final try here for Allen. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Ronald Darby. And he'll be marked down at the two-yard line. 
Yet another mistake after the interception there. And gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. Well, let's face it, not a lot left for them to prove in this game, but they're still throwing the football. I guess, of course, CD, you know, you could always get the backup some work. There's new plays. To and give them another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. Well, this is long since over, and some might see this as overkill, but remember, this is a team that puts on the hard hats, grabs the lunch pail, and tells everyone, we're going to give you a full 60 minutes. And that's exactly how they're playing this one out. Jackson. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. And that one falls incomplete. And they're left now with just two seconds here in the first half. And the Bills are going to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Buffalo.